Hey guys, I'm not Danny. Danny's out on baby leave, which is entirely his own doing, and we have no one to blame but him because he screwed up. And we have no one to blame but him because he screwed up. With that being said, I am going to try to make a couple videos so that way you guys have some content because last time we all got hung out to dry and we had no content and it wasn't fun. It sucked. So hopefully this works and we can get through this. A couple things first out. My name is Jared. I am normally on the podcast, not all the time, but sometimes. Danny asked me to go through some of my stuff and see if I can make some cool videos for you guys. I am not a professional. I do not have a fancy camera. I'm doing this on a tripod thing that my wife owns because she's an influencer with a cell phone. That's all I got. So hope you like it. With that being said, let's dive into today's topic, which is, in my opinion, the best K98K, Portugal, 1937. The Portuguese contracted with Germany to create rifles for them. They are not anything special as far as what the Germans had to do in order to make them. They ran them right through their normal proofing house. There are normal German eagles on here. Uh, it's just the way they were made. They made 50,000 in the of the standard model 33 export and then 50,000 of the 937A, and then later in 1941, they made 50,000 of the 937B. Uh, Ian has already made a video on the 937B. That's where I got some of this information from because my books that I have basically just say, this rifle exists, and that's it. That being said, the 937A is this rifle. It mirrors the Vigero in some ways, and a lot of ways it mirrors the K98K. Some of the main differences between the Portuguese variants and the German variants are the sling attachments. There is no cut in the stock for the loop-through German sling. There is, however, quick detach points for both infantry style and side-slung cavalry style, whatever you want to call it, at the rear. And two, band, uh, two loops in the front, on the front band, for that attachment. And secondly, where it kind of mirrors the Vigero is, sights. These are what make the rifle the best, in my opinion. This rifle does not have the standard German barley corn sights. Barley corn sights, for those who don't know, are kind of like a triangle, an inverted triangle at the rear. Some people don't like them, they're hard to pick up. Sometimes they're not, I don't know, I don't have a problem, but I have really good eyes, it might help. But these are better. These are a square post and a U-notch. They are fast to pick up, they're fast to read, it, it points and shoots beautifully. The other place they kind of vary is beautiful Portuguese crest in the center. It's my favorite aesthetic part of this. With that being said, I'd like to take you guys in so you can actually see how they directly compare the last thing I'll warn you guys is I do not have a nice early war Super Gucci K98K. I have a later kind of put together captured model that I use for reenacting. It'll get the job done. It always gets the job done. So that being said, let's take you guys in a little closer. Take a look at these rifles. The main thing that we have to look at here is the sling attachment points at the rear of the rifle. So in the K98K it has the traditional German notch for the through sling where the 937a has both of these rear quick attach uh, detach points for the sling you can see that there is only one attachment point on the german rifle and two attachment points here and here here and here on the portuguese rifle um, a thing of an interesting little story about the protector as well is i move these rifles up you can see the very large front sight protector on the 937A versus what would normally be just a piece of sheet metal that is bent around the front sight of the German rifle. Um, I had a front sight protector on this. It was a repop one. It wasn't anything special, but it's missing because I lost it at the last event that I was at. The rifle got snagged in some thick underbrush and the sight protector went flying and I couldn't find it. So if I was carrying a Portuguese rifle, then that would not have happened. 
So, I, you know, I realize there should be a protector on this rifle, the German rifle, but I haven't purchased one yet to replace it. They're not that expensive, but it drives home the point that I personally feel that the Portuguese system is better from first-hand use of the rifle. Granted, not in stressful combat, but if it can happen while you're in uh, a decently stressful environment, uh, it can happen when you're in a very stressful environment, like people shooting at you. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video on this, the 937A, Portuguese K98K. In my opinion, the best K98K. If you guys like this kind of content with me doing it while Danny's out, let us know because he's not here. So, well, he's editing this video because he said he would. But he's not making videos and that kind of sucks for the rest of us. So, if you like this kind of stuff, let us know. Because um, he always forgets to. He has t-shirts. So, you can buy a t-shirt. So, that's all. Y'all have a good one. They... Pause break here. Sorry. Edit this part out. I'll start again with they. To be re. Not, no, no, cut that part too. Hold on. There's another they coming. I swear this is better, trust me. Yep. So you can. Of course, I would hit the table like that, like a complete idiot.